Hey guys, it's Kashiba, and welcome to Legends of Arceus. So, I've seen that this game is different from the traditional, you know, Pokemon gameplay. Like, there's no gyms or whatever, and evolving Pokemon is so much different. And, yeah. Um, I can't wait to experience this. I've been wanting to play this for a long time. And I am now finally able to. So let's get going with this. Um, I believe I speak English. Whenever you see now saving on the screen, I'll be mad. I don't get a chance to read all of that. Whatever. It's not important, right? Ready. I'm gonna turn myself off for this. Welcome to my realm, located beyond both time and space. It is well that thou art here. I am that which humans call Arceus. Now I wish to know thine appearance. All right, well, I'm definitely female. Question is, which female do I want to go with? We'll go with the regular Dawn looking one. Pretty sure we can change hair color later, right? Of course, my name is Kashiba. Shiba Chan. I wait, no. That's an S, not an A. Yes, okay. We got it correct now. I should probably turn myself back off now. Kashiba. Soon thou shalt find thyself in a world strange to thee. A world inhabited by wondrous creatures that humans call Pokemon. Kashiba. Seek out all Pokemon and thou shalt find me once more. Ooh. Where am I? Nice shirt. Oh? My phone! No! My cell phone! Come back! Oh no! It's gone into the abyss. Can't text my friends anymore. Oh look, it's Arceus! Hi! Why do you want my cell phone? Oh, thank you for giving that back. I appreciate that. What is, what is going on here? Are you taking me to another dimension, Arceus? <laughs> yes, he is. Oh god, somebody is abruptly telling me to wake up. I probably should turn off and voice this. Wake up! Oh, do wake up, won't you? I hope this ain't Arceus. I already gave him a voice. Are you alive, my girl? Mm. That face, I don't know if that voice fits, but I guess that's what we're going with. You gave me quite the shock, falling from the sky like that. But thank goodness you seem unharmed. Who are you? I'd like to ask you the same. I mean, you fell out of the sky, you understand. Come now, who in the world does that? I must say, your clothing... 
something is unusual. You wouldn't happen to have an acquaintance in these parts, would you? I doubt it. I see. You seem to be in a bit of a pickle. Might I offer some directions? Do you have somewhere around here you could stay? Nope. Came from another dimension. So you don't know anyone here, and you don't even know where to spend the night. Well, this is a proper pickle indeed. Are you quite sure you'll be able to survive? I don't know what to do. I see. Well, no gentleman would abandon a person in such need. Oh my! I'd completely forgotten. I had just caught up with these three runaway Pokemon when you tumbled out of the sky. It's almost as if they knew you'd appear. Uh, but do you even know what a Pokemon is? Of course I do. My, that's a relief. Though you fell from the sky, it seems we have some common ground, eh? Yes, well, these three Pokemon belong to me, mysterious creatures that they are. Oh yes, and what might your name be? Oh ho, so you're called Kashiba. The name has quite the ring to it. I imagine it must have some lovely meeting. Oh, but I do apologize. I haven't even introduced myself. My name is Laventon. I am something of a Pokemon professor. That is to say, I'm a scholar seeking to deepen our understanding of Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon such as these three here. We... Oh, Blax and Bother. My darling Pokemon, why must you run from me again? I'm terribly sorry, but do you think you could help me round them up? I beg you. Wait, you three, wait! Well, I can't believe that was the voice I just gave that man. <laughs> so we're going through the tutorial. Move, dash, A. No, it don't work. Alright, well, what is that? There's a glowing, beeping object over there. I wonder. I found something that resembles a phone. Probably mine, but it's changed shape. You feel a strange power emanating from it. Message appeared on the screen. I bestow upon thee this arc phone and thy mission. Seek out all Pokemon. Alright, well, I gotta round up Cyndaquil, Oshawott, and Rowlet, so... Where are they? Oh, I see the professor. Hi! Do you need help? I am here to help. Alas, yet another miss. Aha, uh -huh. I'm glad you've come to my rescue, my new friend from the sky. I tried catching my little runaways by tossing some Pokeballs their way, but I'm not the best at this sort of thing, you see? I'd love to give you a go at it, but perhaps I should tell you a bit about these three first. Now that one is Rowlet. Rowlet can photosynthesize like a plant, and apparently it battles using its sharp feathers. That 
one over there is Cyndaquil. The fire burning on Cyndaquil's back will flare up whenever it is surprised or erased. The Pokemon near the pond is Oshawott. Oshawott naps while floating on the water, and it can battle using the shell-like object on its belly. Oh my, I nearly forgot to cover the most crucial thing, how to go about catching Pokemon. Here you are, my girl. Pokeballs, throw these at Pokemon to catch them. 50 right off the get-go. Okay. Ah, uh, but that won't do for an explanation, will it? I do apologize. Let me be more thorough. Now, I mentioned already that Pokemon are strange, marvelous creatures. But what's so strange about them, you ask? Well... Each and every Pokemon is able to shrink itself down to minuscule size. And that's where Pokeballs come in. Pokeballs are a recent invention, you see. Throw one of them at a Pokemon and why the Pokemon will shrink down and fit inside the ball, comfy as can be. And with that, you've caught a Pokemon. I know we just met, but I'm afraid I've no one else to turn to. I'd be awfully grateful if you could catch my three runaways. Now the proper technique is to take aim at the Pokemon, then let the ball fly. It's quite simple. Throw fo Though far be it from... What? Though far be it from me to say so, I suppose I've given my own dire life. Of skill in this area. Alright. So hold down the ZR button. To ready a Pokeball. Take aim. Keep moving as you like. To use right stick. To adjust the angle carefully. At your target Pokemon. Release the ZR. To throw the Pokeball. If it hits a Pokemon. It may be able to catch it. You ready a Pokemon ball. But do not want to throw it. Press the B button to cancel the throw. Okay. So, am I just catching all three? Ah, uh, but which one do I really want? Do I want Rowlet or Cyndaquil? I mean, Cyndaquil's right here. Osh, what's there? Which one? Rowlet was Alola, right? And I think I chose Litten. So, you know what? I think I'm gonna choose Rowlet. Unless I just have to do all three. But I can't find Rowlet. Where where is Rowlet? Well I know that. I don't see Rowlet anywhere. I guess I should just throw. Now Cyndaquil's gone. There we go. I hit. There we go. Alright. Oh, wonderful! You've caught a Pokemon! Seems you've, you've quite the knack for this Pokemon catching business, Kashiba. Jolly useful skill to have around here. Only two of my darling runaways are left now. So, this is most unusual. You don't seem fearful of Pokemon in the slightest. Alright, I know I saw Oshawott. He's still there. The analog stick. Eat. There. Okay, there's Oshawott. He's gonna talk again? Yes. I can hardly believe it, Kashiba. Incredible. You know, many people fear to even approach Pokemon. Never mind catch them. Bravo, indeed. Just one more to go. Let's wrap this up. Sharpish, shall we? Alright, so where is Rowlet? I didn't see him. He, like, blended. Is him over there? Hello? I 
don't even see Rowlet. Where is he? Rowlet! Hello? That might be a couple of minutes. I cannot see Rowlet for the love life of me. Oh, there he is. All the way up here. Couldn't see him. He blends right in. I know it ain't gonna be that easy. Here I am, like... Thank you for moving a little closer to make it easier on me. Because I'm pathetic. Yeah, ah, uh, yes, I'm afraid that can happen. Pokeballs are hardly 100% foolproof. Give it another go, old girl. Please don't ever call me old girl again. Don't ever call me that again. And there we go, there's Rowlet. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, what a relief to have them all back. You see, the three Pokemon you caught have only just arrived at the village to help with our research. They won't yet listen to anyone. As I mentioned, they bolted from the village as if they knew you'd come falling. But I must say, Kashiba, I was taken aback by how well you use Pokeballs. How is it that you catch Pokemon so ably when you've only just arrived here? One can't help but think there's a reason you appeared here and now. Seek out all Pokemon. That object is an arc phone, you say? What an odd device. Could it be guiding you somehow? If you'll indulge me for a moment, there's something I'd like to share with you. You see, I have a dream to compile the region's first complete record of its Pokemon. We in the field call such a catalog a Pokedex. Yes, a proper Pokedex is wonderful work of research containing detailed records of all the Pokemon to be found in a region. But in order to properly document Pokemon, one must, of course, catch them. And therein lies the rub, I'm afraid. That's a weird expression. Pokeballs have only just been invented, and not many have mastered the skill of using them. Enter you, a person with a clear talent for catching Pokemon. Your goal is to seek out every Pokemon, and mine is to have all those Pokemon caught. A situation ripe for teamwork, don't you agree? Come now, what do you say? Shall we help one another out, my girl? I guess you've convinced me. I have nowhere else to go. I got teleported into this alternate dimension, so I, I guess you convinced me. Then whoever and from wherever you may be, I welcome you with open arms. We've a Pokedex to complete. First things first, let's get these Pokemon back to the village. Then we'll soda, sort out your lodgings and find you some proper clothes and a meal and all that. Follow me, then onward to Jubilife Village. I wonder what that is. Thank you for your tireless work keeping us safe, my good, my good guardsman. This, long this young lady was of great assistance to me and my Pokemon, so I hope you'll forgive my bringing her into the village for a bit.
this way, if you please. Jubilee Village, it's come a long way thanks to... Oh, I didn't get to read that. I understand... Okay, I didn't get to read that either. So, Jubilee Village. So, this is what it used to be before it became Jubilee City. Because I heard that this was Sinnoh before it came... This is what it was. Hiswi... That's what they call it, right? Hisui was here before Sinnoh. This is pre-Sinnoh, is what I'm trying to, to say. So this is pre-Sinnoh. So this turns into Jubilee City, but right now it's Jubilee Village. That's crazy. Okay, let's follow the quirky professor. I'm not reading that if that's just gonna pop off. Because it's going too fast for me to read. just rambling. Oh, br botheration. I'd almost forgot. I need to go and report that we successfully recovered the escaped Pokemon. Might I ask you to wait for me at the canteen? It's just past this bridge here. Then to the left. The wall, the wallflower, it's called. Dark foam bead, somehow it show, seems to show where you need to go next. So, use the button to view map on your arc phone. You can consult the map for guidance to your next destination and information on your mission to Quest. You'll also see guidance markers when you're out exploring or running around the village. If you're not sure where to go next, stop and look around in all directions to try to spot one of these markers, then head for it. Alright, time to walk to the canteen or the wallflower, whatever bro called it. This lovely building. Where we'll meet this gentleman. Well, now, aren't you awfully suspicious? The wallflowers for galaxy team folk only. We don't have seats for outsiders. Move along. world are you and what's that bizarre garb you're wearing a pokemon could slice right through those flimsy excuses for clothes for you to get in here someone must have vouched for you was it professor Leventon? do you two know each other he's from a region a long way off not the most reliable sort, though letting Pokemon run off and give him the slip and all. Three more of them got away just a while ago. If I hadn't been resting up after some Pokemon drugged me with a move called Thundershock, I'd have corralled them all, corralled them for sure. But the professor, well... Unfortunately, it's just as Ray says, I'm a clumsy- Oh, this is Leventon speaking. Hold on. Unfortunately, it's just as Ray says, I'm a clumsy sort of fellow, to put it mildly. Ugh. But everything will be quite all right. Kashiba has agreed to help us with our Pokédex. As in, she's going to join the Survey Corps? What are we, Attack on Titan now? What 
makes you think that's a good idea. We can't just take in any misfit who wanders out of the wilderness. Ugh. That's Cyrus? Is that Cyrus? Oh my god. Look at him. He's so different. But Galaxy... Okay, hold on. Let me voice and we'll talk about it. Assuming the individual can contribute to the survey corpse, that is. I forget the voice I gave him in Shining Pearl, so. I am the captain of... Or is that a girl? I am the captain of the Galaxy Team Survey Corps. You may call me Silene. Is that a girl? Am I giving her a manly voice? I think that's a girl. I'm going to change the voice. Professor Leventon has told me how you helped secure his Pokemon when they slipped his control. And now it seems like he would now it seems he would like us to feed and house you in exchange for your ongoing labor. Hmm. You look so you look to be fifteen or so. Quite old enough to work for your keep. Well, we can't simply take on a stranger who wanders in among us without any idea of their skills or origins. Tomorrow we shall see if you can prove yourself worthy. Ah uh ha -huh ho! A, mo a most reasonable decision, Captain. Now, would you care to join us for a meal? I'm sure you've got plenty of questions for our visitor. That's quite all right. I prefer to eat alone, so I might appreciate my meals without distraction. Aloof as always, I see. Well, no matter. The rest of us can share a meal and some pleasant conversation then, eh? Benny, old chum, the usual potato mochi, if you please, but make it for three today. Wonderful stuff, Benny. Much obliged. Your potato mochi never failed to please. Where'd you find this stranger in the first place, Professor? Oh, well, you know, that great hole in the sky, the one people call the space-time rift. Our new, friend, our new friend fell right out of it. Was that a joke? Come now, I'm a scientist. My job is to observe and explain any... And all phenomena. I concern myself only with facts. Now, you already know there are many Pokemon here in Hiswi region. Sure, they're all over the place. In the grass, in the forests, in the ocean. It's up to us in the Survey Corps to study them and figure out what kind of creatures they are. Well, we know this much. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. It's all but impossible to know what kinds of powers they might possess or what sorts of wondrous things they can do. But that's where Kashiba will come in. She successfully caught three Pokemon, three of them in quick order, you understand? Nobody in the Galaxy team is capable of a feat such as that. That means we can finally begin our Pokemon research in earnest. That's really something. We count ourselves lucky when we manage to catch a single wild Pokemon while fending off their attacks. Ah, uh, well, to be perfectly fair, the Pokemon that fled to the beach weren't on the attack. 
But the key on catching Pokemon is getting close enough to aim your Pokeball well. And it seems that a new friend is fearless enough to do just that. Does the Survey Corps really have the leeway to be enjoying a leisurely meal with this outsider? Your captain just ordered ten whole portions of potato mochi, you know. The slow progress on that Pokédex of yours clearly has her on edge. I'm sure we'll start to rain in the good captain's stress eating soon enough. Now I ha now have your fill, Kashiba. I think if you make it into the galaxy team, you'll never have to worry about a meal again. The team provides for all its members' needs, even if said members fell out of the sky. That was quite delicious. Quite delicious indeed. You're awfully relaxed about all this. You do know that we won't get to have Kashiba join the Survey Corps unless she passes a trial. Not to worry. I have complete confidence in Kashiba's skills. Let's hope it is not misplaced. Kashiba, was it? For tonight at least, we will provide you with a place to sleep. You may use our quarters there. But if you fail to pass the trial, we will put to you that we put to you tomorrow. You must move on. You will be expelled from the village to meet your fate and perhaps your death in the wilds. Captain Silene's like Hiswi in a way. They're both plenty harsh. Now, now, she simply puts on a stern front to help keep us all safe. At any rate, I think it's time we turn in for the night, eh? The good thing one can't fall out of the futons we sleep in here. I imagine our new friend has had enough falling for one day. And with that, I bid you both a good night. Yeah, sleep tight. Still, people falling from the sky, that's some kind of story. Alright, so I guess it's time to go to bed, right? And prepare for the trial tomorrow. It's a nice place. All right, so before before I continue any further, I want to talk about this. So Galaxy Team. So was this like Team Galactic before it was Team Galactic? And then Silene. I thought she was like a younger version of Cyrus at first, but who is Silene? She's clearly related to Cyrus from Team Galactic. I wonder if she's... She she must be his ancestor or something because Hiswi is old. So she could either be his mother, his grandmother, or just an ancestor. I wonder if we'll find out how Hiswi and Sinnoh tie in. But okay, that's that's all I wanted to say. Let's continue on. Let's go to bed. Where are those? Those scrolls? Checking survey tips. Survey tips contain all sorts of useful information to help you carry out your survey work in the Hiswi region. To read them at any time, press the up button to open the menu, then go to the help screen. Handy tips for team members. Don't wish your toils 
to be forgotten, diligent record keeping will save you from such a fate. Saving your progress. To save your progress, press the up button to open the menu, then scroll with ZL or ZR button until you reach the save screen. There is also an autosave function you can use to have your progress save automatically. You can enable or disable autosave by scrolling to the help screen in the men in menu, then select settings, blah, 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 blah. Anything else you want to explain to me before I go to bed? No? Okay. Yes. Don't think there's anything else I can do. It's a pretty night sky. Oh, somebody else gonna fall from the sky? Oh, look at the bee in the bear barrel. Oh my. What just happened? I wanna go investigate. Can I go investigate? Hey in there, are you awake? That was some wild lightning last night, right? Anyway, if you're up, come on out. Is my trial to go investigate the mysterious lightning? Because that would be cool. Did you sleep alright? I know that's not easy in a strange new land. We'd better not keep Captain Silene waiting. Let's hurry to headquarters. All right, Silene, I'm ready to take your trial. What are you going to make me face up against? Here we are, Galaxy Hall. What do you think? Ever seen a building this grand before? Don't give up! Keep those eyes open! The wild Pokemon. They they were everywhere, attacking from all sides. I sent out my partner Pokemon, but against the whole pack, outnumbered. This is what happens when you go so far afield. But the medical courts will put you to rights. You, uh... Do you realize that if you fail your trial and get flung out of the village, you could well die out there? Well, you might die even sooner than that if you have to take on this trial without a Pokemon to be your partner. Captain Silene, ma'am, I've brought Kashiba. You may enter. Let us get straight to it. If you wish to join the Galaxy Expedition Team, prove yourself capable by going out into the Obsidian Fieldlands and catching three different species of Pokemon. Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. Three species right away, but none of us have ever managed that. Did this stranger not catch three different Pokemon only yesterday? My trial should be simple enough for her. If the professor wasn't exaggerating things, that is. The Galaxy team does not have the means to provide for those who only take without giving. If you wish to stay, you must prove beyond any doubt that you will be an asset to our cause. I will lend you one of our Survey Corp satchels to carry whatever you may need in the field. That whatever is it is you're wearing doesn't suit our satchels in the least. Ray. I'll expect you to step in if anything goes awry. Her 
press the Y button while consulting the map on your iPhone. You can check the task you're waiting. There are two types of missions and requests. Missions must be completed to progress in your adventures, while requests are optional and given to you by people you meet. Pardon, Kashiba, come with me a moment. Now then, a jolly good morning to everyone. What did you need, Professor? In order to complete our Pokédex and, well, simply survive in this unforgiving land, Kashiba absolutely must pass this trial. And as a professor of Pokemon, I've got just the ticket to help accomplish that. Go on, Kashiba, pick the Pokemon that strikes your fancy. With a partner of your own, you'll be able to fight a loyal Pokemon outside the village. These little darlings are very dear to me, but it's plain to see they're rather curious about you. Well, my girl, which Pokemon would you like to keep as your very own? Alright, so it is a tough choice between Rowlet and Cyndaquil. If I was live streaming, I would have you guys pick for me. Um, I mean, his Sweet and Tice Flosion is cool, but thinking about Alola, because that was between Litten, Poplio, and Rowlet, right? And I went with Litten. And I think Rowlet would have been my second choice. I think I'm gonna choose Rowlet, because I have no interest in Oshawott at all. Sorry, bud. Um, this Jota region, Cyndaquil... I think he was my pick for Johto. So yeah, I think I gotta choose Rowlet. Do you want Rowlet as your first Pokemon? And with that, one of the Pokemon you caught up Prelude Beach, for me, will now be yours to keep. Good show. I've tucked Rowlet back inside its Pokeball for you, so take it. It's yours. A word of advice, my girl. Pay close attention to which Pokeballs are empty and which ones contain a Pokemon when you're out in the field. Look at those two. Cheer on their pal Rowlet. Or maybe they just wanted to help Kashiva with their trial. That could well be. They did go dashing from the village when Kashiba fell out of the sky. After all. Well, not to worry, you two. I'll have you assist with m my research for now. By the by, what species has Captain Silene charged you with catching? Well, that's smashing. All three of those species can be found in the Obsidian Fieldlands. Let me give you some Pokeballs to use during your trial, then. Didn't you just give me 50 at the beach? Or are those not mine? Those Pokeballs may be handcrafted, but they work a treat, as you've already seen. You'll have this trial cleared in no time. Let's be off. I'll show you the way to the Obsidian Fieldlands. Meet me at the gate to your left as you leave headquarters. I don't think Obsidian Fieldlands is anything of Sinnoh, so... Alright, let's go find Ray. Which you can tell Ray is an ancestor of Lucas. So I wonder if... I'm actually Dawn, and I got transported 
hear from, like, Sinnoh, if that's what this is, is that, I can't, I can't wait to find out. I hope they tell that later on in the storyline. Because I know I didn't get spoiled of anything of Arceus. I've just seen funny gameplay, so I do not know what happens in this game. But alright, let's find Ray. Right? Ray? I went out the wrong gate. Just kidding. Okay. Um... So, Ray must be an ancestor of Lucas. Silene is an ancestor of Cyrus. And Team Galaxy is just Team Galactic from the past. Except there's no evil doing. They're just trying to survive in this land. And they barely know what Pokemon is, which is interesting. And handcrafted Pokeballs. I am very intrigued. I'm sorry. Alright, let's get this trial done. Oh, what a curious get-up you have there. I can already tell you're quite the character. I hope that's a boy. I'm Voro of the Ginkgo Guild. The go-to choice for any of your mer- our center needs here in history. I've heard talk about you. Better from the sky, didn't you? Now that's only a tale I'd like to hear. Oh, and you've a Pokemon? You're certainly full of interesting surprises. Investigating the odd and novel is key to any imagined success, so what do you say? How about you and I see how our Pokemon stand up to one another in battle? Sure, pal. Sounds good. I like you better and better. What a delight we'll find. I've also heard about this trial you're to attempt. Let's have a quick battle to get your blood pumping before you head out. Though I hope you know you'll lose if your Pokemon's HP reaches zero. Alright, you're going down, Volo. Togepi. Interesting. Alright, Rowlet. Ooh, this is interesting. Okay, fight. Gust. Oh no, tackle. It tackled me. Gust! Down to red. Oh no, it tackled me again. And one more gust. And you shall be down. Goodbye. Move items, use them well, and the world will open up to you. It's always good fun to have your Pokemon do battle, don't you think? And as they gain experience through battle, they'll learn more moves and grow even stronger. But so few people here have their own Pokemon. If only more knew how to use Pokeballs. At any rate, let me help our, battle our two battlers recover from their little exercise. And to you, my Skyfallen friend, I present some potions and thanks. You can use them on your Pokemon whenever they might be worn out from battle. I'll be hoping that you're successful on that trial of yours. More Galaxy team members means more customers for yours truly, after all. If you can battle that well, I've got a feeling you might have your trial well in hand, even if it's 
more to do with catching than battling. Now to the Obsidian Fieldlands. Where, whenever you leave Jubilee Village, you have to pick a destination from your map and let rest the guardsmen know where you're off to. That way someone can come collect you if things go wrong. Hey, I hope you make it in, though. I hope you make it in through this. Alright, I think I'm going to save the trial for the next episode. This game really has my interest. I'm so curious about the history of history and how it really ties in with the Sinnoh region. But with that being said, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more Pokemon. Also, follow me on Twitter at Kashiba Gamer Girl and on TikTok at Kashiba Chan. Also, don't be afraid to check out my other TikTok channel at Straw Cat Crew, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye!